Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Alright, tonight what I am going to do is I am going to let you see for the first time in my first time, Trick Draw, a two player, no, two to five player, two to five player uh, card game, fantasy western magic mixed with old west card game named trick draw from a new company uh, i don't want to mess up their name called house fish balloon llc so this is a brand new card game from house fish balloon i have to thank them for sending us over a review copy of this game to check out i am always looking for new card games to explore and the big thing that drew me to this originally was the name trick draw because i expected it to be a trick taking game now it's not now, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I love trick-taking games, but we're going to find out exactly how this is, um, how the game is, despite it not being a trick-taking game, which is fair. So this is uh, the copy they sent me. We're going to crack this open. I'm going to crack the shrink. We're going to take a look at the component. No, I know very little on this game other than the bit of research I did when agreeing to review it. I have not played the game. I have not actually physically held the cards or seen the card. Now, at the end of this, I am going to show off a little bit of promotional material they did send with this. I don't know if that'll come in the retail version of the game, I'm assuming. Now, this game was kick-started successfully, though from my understanding, this is the retail version of Trick Draw. So here is my copy of Trick Draw. Um, nice shiny box. First thing we're going to do here, though, is cut this shrink wrap off. I got to say, I am impressed by this box. So this is Trick Draw, a card game about magic flipping cowboys. Uh, it does say first edition on it, which is nice. It's got a list of what Trick Draw is, which I'm not going to read this out at this point. So uh, what I dig is this style, this kind of cigar box style. I dig that. This is a magnetic flap on the front. So let's crack this open. Earn coins to unlock the treasure. We have the rule book here. Uh, not a lot of artwork on the cover, that's for sure, but a list of components. Um, there is some booster packs, it says, so that's interesting. Uh, it's two to five players, 15 minute game, age 14 plus. Rules look pretty clear so far. I'm going to flip through these fairly quickly. I do know there's a thing here where you can turn your cards over for gold or you can flip them back to use their abilities. So it's one of those you have to decide when a card's no longer useful for you in play and bet worth points. That's about all I know about this game. Uh, component quality in this is nice. Like there's something about this paper. It's got a nice consistency to it. Uh, the twist, we're still going. Not a thick rule, not, not a short rule book. So we are looking at how many pages? Sorry, I'm losing it here. 11 page rule book. Not bad. I definitely seen worse. Uh, there is this thank you here. And there's a little background in the world. Oh, this is cool. There's like a comic book in the back and, a, and like a bonus card that's like integrated with the art. Check that out. I don't want to take this off right now, but that's that's really cool. And then we have the back with uh, with the publisher. So this does say volume two. It's in a nice little sealed package. So this is cool. This is like the expansion. So you got a bit of a legacy element here, or, or campaign mode. I don't want to spoil this, so I'm not sure if I want to look at that. So I'm just going to put that down there. And then we have the cards. Lots of room if they chose to do an expansion. Um, no counters or anything. Interesting. So let's crack the cards open. That's the only thing left to do here. Sorry. Distracted by the box. Shrink wrap. Shrink wrap's off. Let's look at some cards. Okay, these are thinner cards they're they're not playing card thickness i have used my cards like this um they're no linen finish or anything they're very shiny they're not too slippery for being shiny um so it looks like we have multiples of the same card in in these sets all right here we go a little more zoomed in so we can see some of the cards so you can see a choose two cards flip a card for each one and on the back of these it just shows bounty worth one point and I know that's a big part of this game is flipping the cards. Interestingly, they're made to flip this way and not this way. Oh, no, this way and not that way. There we go. <laughs> so, yes, flip them this way. So we have multiple copies of many of these cards. So we have a whole bunch of Bewitched cards. Then we have a bunch of Black Market cards. I don't know if there's a set number of each. So let's see. We have five Black Market, way more than five Bewitched. So there is a difference in um, the amount. As long as I don't pick them up, we don't get a lot of reflection. I am digging the artwork on these. Insurance fraud. I'm not going to read all of these or go through them. 
Just going to flip through Local Hero. Money Talks. Yeah, I really like the artwork on that one. Preparation. Did I get a preparation in with my Money Talks? Yeah, I did. I thought so. Just easier if I pick these up. Uh, prophecy. Rally. The army. Oh, oh, I think we're into like rare ones or something here. Oh, these have like purple lightning bolts around them. I just know some of the earlier ones did too. So these, there's only one of each. The army, the key, the temple. Oh, we saw the shiny gold version of the temple. That was in the back of the book. The treasure, thieves guild, trick draw. Discard one, steal a card in play. You may flip it and wrangle. So you have all the cards that come in trick draw, a non-trick taking, non-collectible card game from House Fish Balloon. There you have it, all the cards that come in trick draw. First edition, lots of room for expansion cards here. Um, Two to four, two to five players. Supposedly the best at three or four. There's also a little sealed deck here, volume two, which has something in it. I am not, I'm going to leave this for you to discover on your own to uh, quote the fantastic Rodney Smith. Um, curious to know what's in here, but I'm thinking we, we got to play the game before you get to it. Maybe there's something in here that tells you when to open this. Looks interesting. Um, I like the card art, the, the card design, cards. One of the big bonuses here, I got to say, I'll show it off again. How nice and large that text is. That is fantastic for people like me with aging eyes. Like, that's probably the most text on a card. Nice and big. No iconography. All of the rules appear to be on the cards. There shouldn't be any having to reference the rule book. So that's nice to see. Um, this may be telling you that you need 10 coins to win a thing. Not sure. So that's it. No counters, no dice, nothing else. Just cards in a nice card box. Uh, there you have what you get with Trick Draw, a non-trick taking card game, despite the name. It's the one thing I don't like about this game already. Um, it may be fantastic. I'm not trying to cut the game up. I just I like trick taking games, and with a game called Trick Draw, I expect trick taking. But we'll see. Uh, this is a multiplayer card game, all about putting your cards face up and eventually flipping over with points and using card combos and figuring out the backs combination. Which looks interesting, um, more so than I thought, because the significantly large stack of cards doesn't have as much variety as I was expecting. So that means it's going to be a, a lot less interaction, so trying to pull off those combos will be a lot more interesting. Really look forward to checking this one out. Um, interestingly, the box says 15 minutes, 2 plus players. I actually thought this was more of a 2 player game when I agreed to review it, so I'd be interested to see where this goes. When I do actually sit down and start playing Trick Draw, I'll be sharing pictures and talking about it on social media, where I can be found everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Eventually, I'll do up a review, which we will um, publish on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, as well as on the blog at tabletopbellhop.com. If you enjoyed this, this video and have uh, checked out some of our other content and like what we do, you can tip your bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. Good day and game on.